Welcome back Egyptology lovers. So today is stage two of papyrus making. Uh, so I have my papyrus ready. It's been sitting for three days to the color that I want to get it. So I want to get it to this color. So that's the color that I prefer for when I write on papyrus so you can see what it looks like. So there you go. So this is what I want to achieve. So this is now the stage where we're going to lay out the grid for the papyrus. Everything is cross-sectioned. If you look at it through the light, you can see there is layers of it. I'll show you how it's laid out. This is how we've extrapolated. There's no record of this. This is just how we've extrapolated based on what we've seen from the papyrus. So what you do is I usually take the first, the length or whichever is the longest. This has already been rolled out, left in the water. All I got to do is take it now and just pour out the water like that. And then I get my strip, which I already rolled out with a rolling pin. And then you start laying them out. Now the way to lay them out is to lay them out one direction, so vertical or horizontal, whichever way you see it, and then you lay it out the other way. But what's important is when you're laying it out, I'll show you right now. I think this one's gonna be a little shorter. Right, no, it's just fine. When you lay it out, you need to overlap a little. So let me just make sure that all the water is out of here. That's what's important is to make sure all the water is out. Like, like that. And that's your first one right there. Now this might be a little off because of uh, some things I might have done to the paper, but that's okay. Let me lay it down a little this way. Let me go this one out first and this one next over here. So it's kind of figuring out which one works best. And that's all you do, you just keep doing that. Now these weren't as thick as I wanted them to be. If they were a little thicker, it would be easier to kind of do the layout process, but I'm just gonna have to deal with them like that. So I'm just gonna keep going like this, making sure that they're on top of one another, not next to each other, but you could see just slightly on top of the other, like that. And that's what you do, you lay them out like that. And then you just continue the process until you get to a certain length. I guess I'm just gonna cover the entire of this uh, cloth. And it's important that you have cloth because it's gonna soak up the water while it's drying in the sun as well. So I'll show you that process too when this is all done. So I'm just gonna do a few more so you see what I'm talking about. Let me finish them up and then I'll show you the cross section. So stay tuned for that. All right, Egyptology lovers, so now we're complete. Uh, so we have our little paper. It's not much of a paper, but it's just to show you how it's important to have thick and long stalks of papyrus so you can have larger sheets of paper. So for now, this is what I could do. Uh, the next step now is to just lay another cloth on it like that. Like that. And we're gonna take it outside and put something very heavy on it. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put outside, so stay tuned.